Hey everyone, it is MJD with Design, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a navigation bar uh, that will stick to the top of your web page as you scroll down. So, um, as you can see, I've got my uh, HTML nav um, code, and beneath this, I've just got uh, an example of what the content um, will look like underneath the navigation bar. And this is for something else I want to go into in, in a bit. Uh, and then, of course, I've got my uh, my styles for the navigation bar and content just below. Uh, if you want to, if you don't know how to create a navigation bar, you can go ahead and go to my drop down and navigation tutorial. Um, follow through to that, and if you don't want to drop down the navigation menu, just it, you don't have to carry on watching the video. It, it will get to a specific part where you will have a navigation menu without drop down menus. Uh, so you can go and follow through that now if you don't know how to do that. Um, okay, so presuming you have um, your navigation bar ready, uh, content underneath, we'll just we'll just go straight into this. So I want to make sure this area, this black area, um, sticks to the top of my page. So as you can see, uh, nav here. I'm going to go to the styling of that nav. There's my background color. I'm going to do position fixed. Okay, in fact, I'll I'll refresh the page each step. So this is both position fixed. So as you can see, uh, completely messes it up. However, to combat that problem, you're going to do width a hundred percent. Save that. Refresh the page, and as you can see, it is now across the whole page. However, there is this big gap. To get rid of that, you want to do top zero and that's going to put it back towards the top however the uh, the problem that I wanted to come to um, is with the content now if I've currently got the margin set to 30 px uh, pixels top of the um, content so if, say for example if I was to get rid of that refresh the page you can tell even worse uh, you can tell much easier that it does get cut off, cut off. so Basically, any content, that, well, the piece of content that you've got underneath um, your navigation bar, you're going to want to add some uh, margin to the top. So I'm going to just, I'm going to go with a uh, 60px top margin, and see how that goes. So as you can see, it's now. Let's go with. Um, let's add another 20 onto that. Okay, so as you can see. Um, that's just something you have to be aware of when you're doing this uh, just to add that margin just to make sure it separates itself from the um, navigation menu and of course you can mess with this uh, the margin number to make sure that it's correct for your uh, for your appearance at the website and I'll just show you that it does scroll with the site as you can see and yeah that's really all there is to it um, just three lines and a bit of a playing around with um margin top um so yeah uh, if you found this uh, tutorial helpful please hit the like button below it really helps me out and as well as that go ahead and f share this to facebook twitter and all those social network sites if you think it can uh, benefit somebody else uh, and if you've got any questions about this um video or suggestions please put them down in the comments section below i will reply to everyone um thanks for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial